An official investigation into the tragic helicopter crash in May that claimed the life of Iran's President Ebrahim Raisi, along with seven other high-ranking officials, has determined that the incident was caused by challenging climatic and atmospheric conditions, as reported by Iranian state TV on Sunday. This final report from the Supreme Board of the General Staff of the Armed Forces offers a detailed account of the factors that led to the crash, ruling out any foul play. According to the investigation, the helicopter crash was primarily attributed to the complex and unpredictable weather conditions typical of the region during spring. The report emphasized that a sudden, thick mass of dense fog rapidly rose from the ground, severely limiting visibility and causing the helicopter to collide with a mountain in a remote mountainous area in northwestern Iran. The crash, which resulted in the deaths of President Raisi and his foreign minister, Hossein Amar Abdelayan, along with six other individuals, has been a significant event in Iran, leading to widespread mourning and a demand for answers. The helicopter was carrying the officials to a governmental function when it encountered the adverse weather conditions. Despite the best efforts of the pilot and crew, the helicopter was unable to navigate the treacherous environment safely. The investigation's findings have been closely watched, given the high-profile nature of the victims and the impact of the crash on Iran's political landscape. The report's conclusion that there was no evidence of sabotage or mechanical failure in the helicopter systems provides some closure to the public, affirming that the crash was a tragic accident rather than the result of a deliberate act. In the immediate aftermath of the crash, rescue teams faced significant challenges due to the remote location and harsh terrain where the helicopter went down. It took hours to reach the site, and by then, all on board had perished. The loss of President Raisi and his top officials has left a void in Iran's leadership, and the nation has since been grappling with the consequences of the sudden power vacuum. The helicopter crash not only claimed the lives of key figures in Iran's government, but also raised questions about the safety protocols and the risks associated with air travel in the country's often unpredictable weather conditions. The final report underscores the need for improved weather monitoring and enhanced safety measures for future flights, especially those involving high-ranking officials. The deaths of President Raisi and his colleagues have had a profound impact on Iran's domestic and international relations, with mourning observed across the country. The tragedy has also led to a period of reflection on the country's leadership and the direction it will take moving forward. In light of the report's findings, the Iranian government is expected to review its air travel safety protocols, particularly concerning flights over mountainous regions during seasons known for volatile weather. The loss of such prominent figures serves as a stark reminder of the dangers that can arise even in routine travel situations. As the country continues to recover from the loss of its president, the findings of the investigation offer some clarity on the circumstances that led to the crash, allowing the nation to begin the process of healing and moving forward. Become a part of the Playful Parade community. Give us a like, comment, and share. Playful Parade is on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and we'd love for you to join us by subscribing. Stay connected for more updates, and thank you for your continued support during these difficult times.